How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna show you how you can play retro games on your iPhone the easy way. So no jailbreaking, no revokes, no side loading, nothing like that and this video is updated to 2024 in the latest versions of iOS. And I do say it's the easy way because we're gonna use Delta. Delta emulator for this process and I don't know if you know this but Delta is now available on the App Store as your typical normal App Store app and of course it's completely free. So without further ado let's get started and let me show you step by step. Okay so as you can see I have just deleted Delta from my iPhone because I want to do it with you step by step from the top. Okay so of course the first step is to go ahead open up the App Store Go to search, tap on it, and look for Delta, MU, and there we go. We got it right there. Of course, I'm going to have all the information on the screen and link in the description. So then you tap on the link, you're going to go straight to this page specifically, so no mistakes, all right? So what can Delta actually emulate? Which consoles? Because it said retro games, right? So if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see right here that they have a full list. So, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, uh, Nintendo 64, SNES, so it's quite a lot, it's the typical ones that we love. And they say there are plenty more to come, so awesome. And on top of that, there's controller support as well. So you can use your iPhone as a display, right, and use the controller, so that's very, very nice. All right, so let's get started let's download it it's completely free there aren't in-app purchases or anything like that it's 100 free so let's go ahead and open it up and as you can see it'll be blank so no games no nothing and that's just because we have just downloaded it but how can we actually get those games and i want to be very clear right here we're going to call them roms okay so roms are the typical file types of those games of those retro games so they're called roms just to be clear and there are actually two different ways to get roms the recommended official way is to use a product a device a physical device called gb operator so you actually go ahead get your cartridge your physical cartridge and then you put it in right and then it transforms your physical cartridge into a rom file so then you're able to import the rom file to delta to the emulator but of course you will need a product it's kind of a hassle this is more for enthusiasts so if you want to find another way to do it you can go ahead and look on safari all right on your iphone look it up how to get ROMs, how to get a ROM that you want, okay? So, as soon as you do that, as soon as you get the ROM, it's gonna go straight here to the Files app. So go ahead, open it up, it's probably gonna be at the Downloads folder, right? As you can see right here. And then what I recommend you to do is actually get those ROMs and actually move them to a new folder called ROMs. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, but just to make it very simple, okay? So you can go ahead, tap here, and then New Folder and Create It and so on. And then put your ROMs right here inside as you see mine, and then you're good to go. As soon as you do that, you're ready to come back to Delta, and then tap on the plus, we're gonna import the ROMs, tap on files, right? And then it's gonna open up this Delta folder, we don't want that, so tap right here at the bottom right corner on browse, and then it's gonna open up this very first page of your files app. Tap on iCloud Drive, look for the folder, in my case, it was ROMs, right? And then we used, so then tap on ROMs, and then they're here. And then you can select multiple ROMs at once. So then, for example, let's go ahead here and select all of them, and then open, and then as easy as that, we've got three Pokemon games, in this case, Game Boy Color and normal Game Boy, as you're seeing right here, and also GBA, as you're seeing here as well. If I were to add other consoles from other platforms, we would see multiple pages right here, in this case, just those two. And that's literally how you do it. If 
you're a little bit confused on how to use the files app, like moving backwards and forwards, create pages and so on, and navigating and whatnot, I do recommend that you take a look at this card right here, link in the description, because I have a full video on how to use the files app. And if you have an iPhone, and if you don't know what the files app is or how to use it, I super recommend that you take a look. It's one of the most important apps on the iPhone is the file manager of the iPhone, you need to know how to use it, all right? So go ahead and check it out. Now, let's come back here to Delta, and then we're good to go, we can get started. So let's go ahead here and tap on play, and then we're playing the game. So naturally it has sound, okay? Uh, the, the emulator is fully compatible with sound, it's just because I don't have sound in this video, but there is sound, and of course, you're seeing here that the skin for the controller is a little bit different, right? And that's because that's the default screen. And talking about this, there are multiple, multiple configurations and possibilities that you can do here on the Delta emulator, including changing the, the skins and many, many more features. Uh, you can add cheats and so on, but I'll have that on a separate video if you wish to see it. So if you want to see it, if you want to see a full review of the Delta app with everything you can do on the app, please go ahead and leave the feedback down below. I'll create a separate video and I'll teach you everything and how to get those awesome skins and everything like that, okay? And just one final thing, I'm sure you're concerned about your save files, right? So if you're playing a game like Pokemon that you can play for months, you want to know that your save logs are actually saved, right? And good news, you just save normally on the game, like in-game saves, and then you're good to go. So you go to start, you save it, as if you're playing on the console itself, and then Delta will store all those save files. So you don't need to save them anywhere else, Delta will record everything. Just make sure to save in-game, okay? And also, don't delete the Delta app. If you delete Delta, then you lose it, all right? So, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what I wanted to tell you. How to play retro games on your iPhone. Super updated method, super easy method. I love this. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.